we want to really build on that momentum and just build the skills and the capacity within, within the Red Cross. And hopefully, you know, people watching out there will look at this interview and think, okay, you know, it's not a disaster now, but I can afford a little $20 or $50, I can give it to the Red Cross. We can hold that in what we call our disaster relief emergency fund. And when the time comes and when it's most needed, we can quickly jump on that and start helping people out there. We have several criteria, as Daniela had mentioned, but on top of that, we also have SOPs um, that the Federation, the International Federation, gives to us that we have to follow in terms of guidelines as how cash is received, how it's processed, how it's accounted for. It's a very strict process, and that has to be followed. Each, every single cent we receive, um, we do have to account for all of that.